<laughs> you know I love you, baby. There's so many things I can describe to, to tell you how much I do. But there's only one way I can. This is the way. The way you are, you know what to say, you know what to do, it's just sexy. You walk and hey, come over here and grab mine. You're slender, divine. God bless you, cause you're mine. You got a smile, you can see for a mile. Shiny black hair. Uh, makes a girl stop and stay. Uh, Hello, everyone. This is Richard Sesman, uh, and I'm here to talk about um, telekinesis. So and um, I've been doing it for about three months, and it's gonna be four months, somewhere around there. And uh, I've learned a lot, I've been thinking about it, I've been uh, reading up on certain things about it, looking on YouTube, um, but mostly internally learning a lot about myself and uh, learning about what it means, what telekinesis means for an individual, the insight, what it means for an individual um, in, in, in themselves, what it means for them, you know, solo. And, uh, uh, I've come up with uh, these kind of uh, ideas, I, I, I know they're correct, these ideas about telekinesis. And um, I go see Trevor Seven, and uh, that's where a lot of learned it from. And uh, I've learned a lot from him. Uh, I've learned a lot from him, and I've gained a lot of experience from him. But I've learned uh, most of it from just internally thinking about what it means to me. And that's exactly uh, how he, in uh, how he approaches it also, which we all, how all we all should approach telekinesis, is how it, what it means for you, and how you can make it work for you to accomplish certain feats, and to, and to, uh, and to accomplish, and to, uh, to accomplish the uh, these abilities, you know, uh, start small and go large, and uh, what I've come to realize about telekinesis is that, uh, is that. It is not the same as um, sports. It is not the same as uh, training or being an athlete or strengthening body. Telekinesis is something that is already set within us. You know, uh, Trevor Seven says that uh, it takes time for the tree. It, it's like a seed. You know, you uh, you practice, you do it, you learn the basics, you learn the foundation, the basic foundation of what it is. You know. Um, having empathy with your object and da 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 and th those things are really uh, essential to awaken your understanding and your awareness of what it means um, in a technical standpoint on how to accomplish it but um, but from what I understand is that um, and, and even before I went into telekinesis uh, I understood that that it is not the same as training muscles or training your body or uh, being able to uh, to be an athlete and you know you get more faster and better when you uh, when you uh, uh, get uh, you keep on doing the same thing over and over uh, repetitiveness and running and football whatever it's not the same um, for me at least it's not the same um, I think it might be contradictory to say this, but uh, um, for other people it may not be easy. Maybe other people will see it as you are strengthening your muscle, you know, like the pineal gland. Like he says, you're strengthening the muscle that you haven't worked before, and it's kind of true, you are, in a sense, but it's not in the brain. What it is, is you're strengthening uh, your confidence. That's the muscle that you're really strengthening and that you're uh, building power in. That's the only muscle is, the conf uh, is your confidence. The thing is though is that we as human beings, we, we're born already set with this uh, giant of, of a muscle man, of, a, of this uh, God-like ability already in the mind. It's already there. We don't have to strengthen it. it it's it's um it's like a it's 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 like a giant. A giant could have huge statues. You know, he's very tall, has power and muscles, can bust through things or whatever, and he has all his strength. But without confidence in himself, he he 
his strength weakens. You know, the muscles are there, but unless you push yourself with confidence to be able to lift rocks or be able to to uh, do uh, uh, amazing things, you're not going to be doing anything. You know, it's just like that. In our mind, the pineal gland in the brain, um, the, the it, 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 it's just a dormant, a dormant super strength, a, a dormant um, a power, ultimate power that's just dormant. And that the confidence and recognizing yourself and your abilities is what will allow you to do these things quick. You know, you just have to um, strengthen your confidence in what you're doing. You know, strengthening your, uh, your comprehension of understanding um, the basics of telekinesis. You know, once you... It, it, because telekinesis is not so much a muscle as it is. It's like a... It's like reversed. You're not using force or power to move something. You're using your relaxed, calm state to accomplish it. So it's a total different way of 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 um, manipulating. It's a total different form of force. It's not force as as lifting weights. It's a force in a in a. It's a it's a more calmer force. Um um to to accomplish you know. Um, these feats it's much more calm it's relaxed it's a different it's opposite physical force it, it, it's not aggressive force it's not aggression you know it's not anger or, 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 or anything like that it's a force that requires calm unity and balance in oneself and those things are already are a part of our character and personality they're already intertwined within us we already have those elements of those person personality element traits calmness, understanding, observance, those things are there. Those things make up um, the ability uh, to awaken the dormant ultimate power, the muscle that's already, you know, has big biceps. It's already there, but it's laying down, you know. And the only thing that you have to work on is just basically learning certain things. Learn what you want to do. And then try to think above and beyond the comprehension of what is possible. You know, it's kind of outlandish to say it's uh, too far off to say, and it's probably too much to for an individual. But you know, in order to to be happy in your life, to reach higher feats of consciousness, to to take yourself to greater levels of of living and and self uh, recognition and self power and peace and 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 uh, and uh, collectiveness and, and order in your life and meaning you have to think above and beyond because we're stuck in a pool a pool of what society and the media has dumped us in and we're just kind of whooshing around kind of with low self-esteem whooshing around in the deep black deep abyss of this nothingness and we're just lost but the strength is there to push and to push out to the water and to move up to the surface and to really burst up and to yell and scream and raise your fist and just say I am I am your telekinesis and your powers are there you know you are a mountain you are a giant you are your own God you know and the thing is though is that when you're practicing moving a PSI wheel start small confidence can move mountains believe me I have thoughts to myself and I think to myself with this little bit of confidence with this little bit of self-esteem and this gentle sense of of awakened um, confidence and this sense of feeling good and the sense of of, uh, of righteousness corrective righteousness this little bit a little bit of magic and peace in your heart happiness this little bit can move a huge 100,000 pound boulder. The same telekinesis ability that you use to move the PSI wheel can then be used to move mountains. You know, you know, it, it does. It, you know, it, so it's different. And what's holding you back? It's not. It, it it's not that you have to work out your pineal gland and keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. What you're doing when you're doing it is you're just recognizing it. Your brain is a, is a computer. You're just doing it and you're getting yourself familiar with the activity that you're doing. Familiarity. 
but you're not building the muscle of nothing. Your only muscle that you're building, I'm corrected, is your confidence. The confidence is not a muscle. It's a collective, it's the it's it's a collective sum of the brain together of your perception of what's right and wrong, what you fear, what you don't fear. It, it's it's your consciousness collectively together. It's not a part of the brain. Confidence is not so much a physical part of the brain as it is a, a metaphysical, spiritual part of you. It's your energy, how you spew out, your chi energy out. Your confidence to just say, I'm going to use this. It's like trying to cup water with your hands. Once you accomplish spinning a PSI wheel from five feet away and you're able to do it over and over again, your confidence, your focus, not being too egotistic or too low, low self-esteem, you know, you carry that confidence of your accomplishment, humble, scoop up with a little bit of water, gingerly carry that positivity and energy of that calmness and humbleness and use and carry that and use that energy, use that energy, give that energy and put the energy to then move larger impossible things, impossible things lifting the car up in the air, just as, sent, just as gentle, just as humble as you were moving that PSI wheel, just as, just as subtle as you were just letting your consciousness and awareness take control. You use that and then you gain confidence when you accomplish it, right? You gain confidence, but it's a humble, a beautiful, sweet nectar humbleness of your heart and your mind being connected, and you carry that little bit of magic and that power of your confidence, and you carry and you say, you look at, you observe, you want to lift something more harder, more bigger, use that same recognition and say, this 100,000 pound boulder is just as easy as this you know, a uh, one ounce piece of paper balanced on a nail or a needle. They're both equal, just like gravity. When you drop a boulder or a feather, they both drop at the same rate. In telekinesis, it's exactly the same thing. But your consciousness and your confidence is what's going to pierce through the fabric of space and time and make the impossible possible. You're the one that has the imagination and strength to break through the fabric of space and time and break through the impossible and warp and transform and re regenerize yourself and the human race and reinvigorate yourself in and, and innovative things and power with just your confidence. Being able to just be humble and you can do it. That's what talking is all about. And as Ricky says, but is, and that's what talking is, is strengthening consciousness and your confidence. Being aware not to step in front of what you're doing, but letting it happen. Thank you. God bless.